this is Kamori, and today we're going to talk about how to read pattern envelopes. So, let's get started. Let's start with the front of the pattern. So, we have the manufacturer in the upper right hand corner. This pattern was made by the Simplicity Pattern Company. In the middle are the sizes that are included with this particular envelope. Not every pattern envelope contains all of the available sizes, so make sure that you have the right envelope so you don't go home and end up with the wrong size pattern. Now in the left hand corner we have the four digit code that corresponds with this particular pattern. Moving on we have a human model showing a variant of the patterns that are included in this envelope just to give an idea of what it would look like on an actual human body. Then we have all of the variants shown in a illustrated form so when you are deciding which one you want to make, you just find the corresponding letter. For example, if you want to make the dress that the model is wearing, you will be looking for view A. The back of the pattern has illustrated designs for what the back of each of the pattern components looks like, so you can get an idea for where the zippers are and any seam lines you may come across. Next we have the official description of the pattern. So in this case, it's Mrs. Dress in three lengths with bodice variations and bolero. Underneath are the suggested fabrics for use for this pattern, and they may also recommend specific fabrics for specific items. For example, they recommend brocade and velvet for view F. The last line, extra fabric needed to match plaid stripes or one-way design fabrics, is because if you want these stripes to match up, if you're using a striped fabric, there may not be enough fabric to do so if you are using the fabric recommendations further down on the pattern. The notions are any items that you would need to purchase to complete the project that are not fabric. So, for example, you need thread and then for views a and B, you need a 22 inch zipper and then a hook and an eye. For this particular pattern, it has the measurements underneath the notions. However, some patterns do have the sizing chart elsewhere on the pattern envelope. So to use the measurements, you're going to find your bust waist and hip measurements that match your sizing. So for example, if you have a 36 inch bust, you would be a size 14 for American sizing or a size 40 in European sizing. The sizing on pattern envelopes does not correspond to the sizing that you would be in a store, so you can't just say, oh, I'm a size 6 because that's what you normally purchase because that may not match up with the sizing for the pattern company. It's also a good idea if you are in between sizes, say for example you have a 36 inch bust but a 26 inch waist, you would want to go up a size to the 14 since that's the widest measurement because it's a lot easier to make a garment smaller than to make a garment bigger. Once you have decided on the size that you need, now it's time to figure out how much fabric you need to purchase. So for the size 14, if you wanted to make the A dress, if the fabric is 45 inches wide, you would need four and an eighth yards of the fabric, or if the fabric was 60 inches wide, you would need three yards of the fabric. Also be sure to check if there is any additional fabric you need to purchase. For example, for the bodice of dress A, you need to purchase one yard of 45 inch fabric for a lining, and also need to purchase three-quarter yard of some lightweight fusible interfacing. Some patterns also have the finished garment measurements included on the pattern. So for example, this one shows how long the dress would be from the base of the neck to give you an idea of whether or not you would need to shorten the length of the dress. Some patterns also have the envelope printed with multiple languages. For example, this pattern is printed with French and Spanish information and also has the measurements listed in centimeters. 
If you are using a pattern for a project that involves a stretchy material, it may have a guideline along the top for the amount of stretch your fabric needs to have. So for example, this particular pattern needs three inches of fabric to be able to stretch from here to here. And that's how to read pattern envelopes. For more cosplay sewing tutorials, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.